going on everyone welcome to a new episode of Buckeye Traveler and I am Adam Bush today is a long overdue episode of the Dayton RV convention if you watch this video right here is my welcome back video uh, it will explain why it's taking this long to get this video out this video should have been put out earlier this year like back in uh, late January or February and stuff uh, when the RV convention was actually held. Obviously that didn't happen. So I'm gonna do it now. This is gonna be probably about a three, two to three parter. So this is part one. And I'm just gonna show different RVs that I kind of liked and thought they were nice and stuff. But I must warn you, I'm gonna put a warning right here. I apologize profusely right now for the footage you're about to see. Uh, very shaky and jerky in, at points and not very good angles and hard to see things uh, That's why I added pictures and stuff like that to help give you a visualization of what I was looking at Or what you're trying to see on the screen. It was difficult for me I had a rig for my camera and the mic and the uh, I had a little external light to shine in some darker areas and you know you got this rig and I didn't have a, a Steadicam gimbal which not yet Hopefully one of these days I will get that. I'm trying to hand hold this thing, trying to be as smooth as I can, which was not working very well. And trying to get the footage that I wanted, plus not be in other people's way and people were getting in my way. And it was just tough. Hopefully it'll get better as it, as we go along with doing these videos. So, but I, I'm just I'm apologizing now for some of the footage. It was just it was shaky. With that disclaimer put aside, uh, I'm also uh, kind of just give my two bits of the convention this year overall i was kind of disappointed with the convention don't get me wrong i always enjoy going and looking at rvs and, and campers and trailers and just seeing what's out there i like seeing the different designs and however my biggest gripe this year was where it was held at it was held at the dayton convention center which is in downtown uh dayton and it is a smaller venue than it's has been held previously which is the Dayton Expo Center in Vandalia Ohio which is near the uh, Dayton Airport the Expo Center up in Vandalia is a much bigger facility I believe and they always seem to have ample amount of room they did not seem to have as many rigs this year as in previous years the crowd I would say probably was probably the normal amount of people but in a smaller compact area and it was just times it was kind of overwhelming to maneuver around the area so out of everything that was my biggest complaint this year and I, I don't think they had as many um, RV dealerships represented there as they normally did and I don't think they had as many like RV camping uh, accessories or uh, uh, vendors there as they normally do I hope that they do go back to the Expo Center next year but we'll see so with all that being said uh, Here's the footage. Uh, again, this is just a part one of the series. Uh, so there's, I think, only like three or four uh, campers I'm showing on here at, for this one. Enjoy the footage. Stay up to two weeks, and then you just have to be out the system for uh, seven days. And you, awesome! And then, and if you're near Wilmington or Batesville, Indiana, or one of the parks, you can have unlimited day use. So if you want to go around, pedal around the park for the day, you know, don't want to camp, just want to go fishing or swimming or something like that, you can come in unlimited on a day use too. Well, that's good.
yeah. screwed into the floor. They're only 2,500 pound tie downs. This is 5,000 pound tie downs. You go to Keystone's website, yeah. they'll flip a side by side up, upside down, and somebody will stand under it okay. when it's tied because that's how sturdy these are. 5,000 pound tie downs. This is the most important part of a toy hauler. All right, yeah. And, and, and usually, there's brands that just don't care about it. Usually, you only see uh, the D rings. Right. Uh, yeah, so that's what you'll see in 99% yeah. of them. So that's what makes see. Fusion so great. Someone said that well, it was the door. The door to the bathroom is awful. Oh, really? Yeah, it's tight. Mm -hmm.
So there you go. Uh, those are the campers for part one. All honesty, out of all the campers that we saw there, the only ones that we were really interested in I mean, was the uh, Fusion. And that's not even in our top five or ten RVs. But that was the closest one at the convention center this year, which is odd. But previous years, there's at least three or four toy haulers. This year, there was not that many. Uh, there's part one. Stay tuned for part two. So hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're not already. Hit that little bell too, so you know when uh, I'll upload a new video. And I will see you in the next video. See ya.